So if you have a budding entertainer in your family, then American Stage may have just the thing for you. They are now enrolling for spring classes for kids in grades K through 12. And so Marissa Nicole Cook and Patrick A. Jackson are back on the show. Join us now to talk more. How are you? We're great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. So before we get into the classes, which is kind of appropriate, we just, of course, had a comedian and talked a little about you guys being improv. Of course, that was a stand-up comic. Mm -hmm. The differences, I mean, I don't know how either one of you both do, and you both joke like I wouldn't want to switch jobs, <laughs> exactly. right? Yeah. I respect what they do, and that takes a completely different creative muscle. And it, you agree? Oh, absolutely. There's something um, there's something very organic about both aspects, the stand up uh -huh. and the improv. But improv is my jam and I'm happy with that. And I'll <laughs> keep doing that. <laughs> but uh, but like that, you also teach and it is your jam. Let's talk about getting the kids involved and in what they can learn in this camp. Yeah, absolutely. We have youth classes coming up uh, for our spring session at American Stage. Mm -hmm. And we have classes for grades K through 12 and they, we have uh, specific focuses for each of our age levels. Um, our middle school and high school students do have an opportunity to get involved with improv. We do have an improv class for uh, middle school and high school students in the spring. Patrick is gonna teach yep. that class <laughs> as well. Um, our Spark Improv program, we have a uh, also another class for middle school and high school students, our Spark um, Musical Ensemble where they will be creating an original musical theater piece this semester, wow. which is from scratch. From scratch. It's yeah. very oh, wow. a very exciting process uh, where they'll be able to work with a professional teaching artist and director and a professional music director and composer to create, um, a, create this original musical piece based on um, some history that we're pulling from, like we're focusing on the 1920s, the Roaring Twenties, and the culture of, uh, of America at that time. So we talked a lot about the older kids there. Yes. What about the young ones? Like, what do you, how do you work with them? What do parents need to know? And if they want to maybe sign up their kids? Yes, yeah, so our uh, kindergarten through second grade class, um, we have a, a playmaking class where the students will be focusing on um, when I grow up is the name of the, of the the, the class with so they'll be focusing on potential career paths so it's not just acting that they're learning oh, yeah. they're also learning about you know all of the diff different opportunities that they have in the future uh, which is a really cool thing and then our third through fifth grade class is doing uh, through the looking glass so it'll be an adaptation of um, Alice in Wonderland yeah. so they'll be reading the book throughout the semester as well as creating original characters that will fit into that world and bringing that story to life. So say I'm a parent watching, and I'm like, you know what, I think my kid is interested in it. They like to kind of get up and, and perform. What advice do you have for parents out there, you know, that are like, okay, maybe this is good. How do you know this would be a good fit for your child? I would say, um, I would say if you're looking for your child to be like the next big, big star, um, that is a great thing, but we just encourage students to express their creative voice in whatever way that is. Some students will get on stage and sing a full song and can do it confidently, and some students, their uh, success is just getting on stage and, and standing there and celebrating. So we, uh, we encourage the students to be themselves no matter what uh, talent range they're in. And so I am curious, in closing as well, what are some tips that you do share? Can you give us an idea of like, uh, especially we were joking about the improv and the stand-up, uh, any kind of, any little tips you can share? Um, well, one of the things that we really focus on is empowering students. Uh, we want the students to be, to feel comfortable and confident and it's in building that yeah. confidence and um, supporting your child in whatever endeavors they want to be exploring is really important. Um, and our teaching artists are really good and really supportive about um, helping the students find their voices and um, expressing themselves in, in a positive and, and way that they can grow. Yeah. Nice. And again, I know there are four different courses that you can get sign up mm -hmm. for now. A spring may seem far off, but it is really not. Now is the time to sign up for your little one there. There's the information right there on your screen. Thank you to the both of you for coming in today. It's always a treat to see you. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs>